And what's so scary is how many George Floyds, how many Ahmaud Arbery's, how many Breonna Taylors are not reported? How many deaths, how many brutalities have we not heard about? It is now coming to light and people really have to recognize and open their eyes that this is a real thing. Racism is a real thing. Inequality is a real thing. Police brutality is a real thing. Black people are not seen in the same light. Yes, that is the case. Don't hide from it. Don't be naive about it. Just like the COVID-19, this is a pandemic and it needs to change. We need to see change. So to my fellow black community, remember what really moves the needle and make sure that you are putting all your efforts and energy into moving that needle. Stand for what is right. Protest where you need to be. Just please be safe. And always remember what it is that we're fighting for. Now to my people who are not of color, the white majority, I ask you two things. One, Understand your privilege. It's a privilege. And it's not to make you feel bad. It's not to, you know, hate on hate on you or anything like that. It's understand that other people don't have that and that you need to take that privilege and use it for the other communities that don't have those same opportunities. Speak up, help make the changes in the organizations where we don't have enough say. Whether it's in the workplace, whether it's in our government, whether it's in your community, whether it's in the police, the city, just please, we need your help. The second thing I ask you to do is if you have a friend, a colleague, an acquaintance who is a person of color and is black, reach out to them. Show them love and show them support. There's a lot of mixed emotions going on. You already listen to the music that we create. You already watch the sports that we are playing in. Support us now. This is the time that we need it the most. We're all human. And we just want equality. We just want justice. And we want to be seen as a part of a society that treats everyone equally. Thank you.